Sunday night football, Zach Wilson versus Aiden O'Connell. Welcome to the Blitz Show brought to you by Covers where Derek Hardy and his Blitz projections look to pick off the best plus EV plays for every primetime game. We've seen a lot of the Jets so far. I think they have six primetime games. Here we are, Sunday night football. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't flex <laughs> this game out. And I, I'm pretty, it was pretty much the talk of the town earlier in the week. Jets at Raiders sitting as a pick. Total sitting at 36 and a half, which doesn't get much lower in an indoor environment. We got leans, we got plays, and we're starting off with a play showing great plus EV from the Blitz. Aiden O'Connell over two and a half rush yards. Don't be confused with rush attempts. You very seldomly see a rushing total. This is approaching Tom Brady-esque rushing totals. Uh, plus 112 at the time of recording on Saturday afternoon. That's a play. He had three rushes in his first start uh, for three yards, low volume, but he had zero rushes in his last game, didn't get any uh, victory kneels, didn't get anything, no no chances for sneaks, no nothing, but this is a young quarterback. Uh, they could be playing with the lead. They probably don't want any taking chances, and this could be a one and done. What are your projections here for O'Connell? Yeah, the projection is close to 10 yards, so – Two and a half is just a low, low number. Like you said, this is kind of what we used to see with, with Tom Brady. Um, O'Connell is not as athletic as some of the other rookie quarterbacks that we've seen this year, but it's still a really low number, and we're getting it at plus money. Uh, this one shows a lot of value. I would like to think that at least any quarterback, take any quarterback in the league, and this number is a coin flip basically across the game, unless you're Tom Brady. But like, just the chance of something happening where you have to escape and get three yards. Uh, right. Obviously, we might, yeah, we might have to avoid some victory meals, but like I said, zero last one. Uh, there's there's some possibilities there. So let's take that over two and a half rush yards plus money. Uh, that's a play. And then finally, Josh Jacobs over 63 and a half rushing yards minus 114. That's a fan duel timer recording Saturday afternoon. This is a lean, but still showing great plus value. The volume is certainly there. 26 carries in his opening game with a new coaching staff and play calling. How much do you have to adjust your projections and the overall run percentage here with new coach Antonio Pierce and OC Bo Hardigreen? Yeah, you absolutely have to adjust when there's a new coach, especially a new coach who's been kind enough to, you know, talk in his prep, uh, press conferences very candidly. He's said that he wants this team to be a run first team. You know, he said, first and foremost, I just want to be a mentally tough team. I want people to see how football is supposed to be played, you know, running the ball, stopping the run, having fun. Like he he's all he does is talk about how he wants this to be a tough team. He wants to run the ball. He's given so much praise to Josh Jacobs, and we saw it last week. So uh the Raiders are projecting in the blitz now as one of the more run heavy teams in football. Josh Jacobs is projecting here for 84 yards. So we're getting more than 20 over the line here. And uh, we're getting in on the you know the good side of the market. 63 and a half is the low end, but most books are at 65 or 66. There's 168 out there. And so this one does look pretty good. Not quite a play, but definitely a good lean. And we've basically seen the floor for the entire season for Josh Jacobs. Like this could get over at his current, whatever, like 3.5 yards per carry. But like uh, yeah. if, he does have if he does have a four and a half or a five yard carry game in him, this is an easy one. Josh Jacobs over 63 and a half rushing yards, opportunity and volume certainly there. So we got the two plays. Well, one play, one lean. Aiden O'Connell over two and a half rush yards plus money, plus 112. That's a play. And Josh Jacobs over 63 and a half rushing yards, minus 114. That's a lean. Like I said, these are in the books. Time of recording Saturday afternoon. That will do it for us here. Sunday night football on the Blitz Show brought to you by Covers. But we are back for Monday night football. Different Wilson, Russ Wilson versus Josh Allen there in Orchard Park. We'll see you then.